cottage factory till uh, concentration camp closed, which was, I believe, now I, I have a hard time remembering whether it was September that the camp actually closed and we were all shipped to uh, Auschwitz. Well, it was at that time that Schindler came to Madrid and made him a proposition and said, you know, I'm taking my people to Czechoslovakia. Why don't you reestablish a factory in Czechoslovakia? And Madrid said he didn't want to. He had had enough of the whole thing. But Schindler said to him, well, then I'm making a list of people that I'm taking with me. And I am, because you're, we're friends, I want you to give me some names from your people. And that's how we got on the list, on Schindler's list. That's how we survived. It was really thanks to Madrich, who was uh, grateful, really, to my parents for having worked so well for him, you know, that he put us on the list. He put on quite a few people from uh, the factory on the list. And that's how he got on. Do you remember Madrich's first name? Uh, I'm trying to think of his first name. I know that Teach's first name was Raymond. Uh, I may think of it. I don't know. So when they closed the concentration camp, how did you find out you were going to Auschwitz, or did you find out you were going to Auschwitz? We found out when we ended up in Auschwitz. Uh, we were put on a We thought we were... The men were shipped earlier, and uh, we... W the women were then shipped in the cattle cars, and it took... Quite a few days. Uh, it took some time. We didn't really realize that we were getting going to Auschwitz till we arrived there in the middle of the night, and they emptied out the cars, and we saw where we were, and it was a very frightening experience. While you were in the cars those three days, the cattle cars, what was that like for you? Well, it was hard. It, you know, it was. We were all cramped together. Uh, we had no water, no food. Uh, nothing, uh, but I think, and and the fear of not knowing where we were going, you know, really, I mean, we didn't, we were being, sh the reason it took so long, I mean, Krakow and, and, and Auschwitz is very close, it's on like 35 miles, so no more than 50 miles away, but we were, because the Russians were approaching, uh, there were many trains being shunted over to different uh, sidelines, siled rails, you know, and um, that's why it took, it didn't take three days, it just took a day and a half, I think. It took us three and a half days to go from uh, Auschwitz to Czechoslovakia, that was the golf trip. But we ended up in Auschwitz in the middle of the night, and that was a horrible experience. Describe what you remember. Fear, smell, burning flesh, shouting. Uh, orders, uh, not knowing which way to, music being played, um, slush on, on, you know, on, on the mud on the, on the road, you know, the Germans barking at us, get out, get out, get out, uh, you know, from the cattle cars, finding ourselves on this, and realizing where we were, and, you know, the fear that uh, that was the end, you know. Were you with your mother at this time? All the time. I was with my mother all the time. And, of course, the first place they took us to, they walked us into the uh, sauna, which is the uh, supposedly the, the, the lousing room or whatever. But uh, we, at that point, already had heard what happened in Auschwitz. So when they told us to strip and take our clothes off and they shaved our heads and all that, and they shoved us into the... Uh, uh, the shower room, you know, we didn't know what to expect, you know, uh, whether we were going to have the gas or whether we were going to have actual water. It was, a, it was a horrible experience, you know. When the water finally came, it was just like, we couldn't believe it. 